And the weather will not stop plans for some students in Central Florida today. Why I mean a park elementary school in Marion County is back in class. Part of a pilot program here in Florida that officials hope will help students minds stay sharp instead of being out of the classroom all summer. News 6's Mark Lehman was there to show us how it's going. For students at Wyomina Park Elementary, it's a twofold change to start the school year. We're starting early here. How are you feeling about that? Uh, it definitely feels earlier than last year. Ben Dodge's first and third graders have an earlier start time this year, and they're also walking to class in July. Wyomina Park is the only school in Marion County testing a year round schedule through a pilot program. How do you think this might be beneficial to your kids? Um, the nice thing is, uh, it seems like they were ready to get back in school. Um, they uh, they kind of got over that summer bug of, of being able to just get up and do whatever. In this schedule, students have the same amount of school dates, 180, but breaks are spread out differently. The school's principal says the goal of the early summer return is cutting down on learning loss. By getting them back on our campus, we are closing those gaps and allowing them to um, retain more of the information they learned in the previous grade level. Now the schedule change is certainly having an impact on students, but parents are having to make an adjustment as well, especially those with kids in different schools. And here at Wyomena Park, classes begin today, but a half mile away here at Fort King Middle, classes begin on August 12th, meaning parents with kids in both schools are looking at least some different days off throughout the year. For me, having two kids at two different schools on two different schedules makes things a little bit more difficult, if you know what I mean. Cody Evans tells us he'd like to see more schools get on board, which could happen down the line. Marion County Superintendent, meanwhile, says further changes will be in the state's hands. Where do you see uh, possibly this pilot going from here? Well, I think it's too early to say. I mean, we'll be collecting data, obviously, um, to the best of our ability, but hopefully we'll be able to expand upon this program if the Department of Education at the state level lets us do that. In Marion County, Mark Lehman, Getting Results, News 6.